Well, speaking of uh, scenes where people aren't talking, uh, this season has had a massive effect on the pop charts because uh, it's brought back songs that uh, weren't on the charts for decades and decades. I'm wondering how those songs, uh, I'm thinking specifically of uh, Running Up That Hill and Master of Puppets. Uh, Michael, if you want to talk about how you dealt with those songs on set and then maybe uh, how we brought it through the edit afterwards. Yeah. On set, well, Running Up the Hill wasn't really used a lot on set. Obviously, Master of Puppets was used to great lengths on shooting that scene, which was one of my favorite parts of shooting because I never thought in my entire life I would ever be shooting a Master of Puppets music video. <laughs> and that was just awesome. And a cool little note was we shot that one day past the 35th anniversary of the release of that album. We were actually scheduled to shoot it on the day <laughs> that it was going to, that it was released, but we had a rain delay and we had to push the schedule, but one day, and, and that, that was awesome on set to kind of, you know, reminisce about, you know, that was just played a lot in on that day, obviously. And uh, Joe was amazing at yeah, he, what was being played in his ears because we had earwigs for Dustin as well as Joe to play the music back because there was dialogue happening at the same time. And so we couldn't have the overlapping music playback with the, uh, with the dialogue, but we actually had a little bit of a, a, a bleed through from his personal amp, which we had on top of that trailer that he actually played and people could actually still hear him playing, which he was pretty spot on. I thought, I thought he did an amazing job for somebody who only played as a kid, but music in general is a huge part of our onset presence. The brothers love to use music to pull emotion out of the actors um, during the scene when there is dialogue or when there is no dialogue. They are they are masters and I always have a speaker hooked up and they have a Bluetooth right to it and they'll just play music during the scene all the time. And that's always a challenge. I've, I think I reached out to Ryan at one point going, ah, is this going to be all right? <laughs> and uh, he's like, I'm used to it. <laughs> <laughs> The Duffers had full control over that, so they knew when to stop it. They knew when to start it. So, you know, and like I said before, they're they're great at at, perfect, at, at preserving the dialogue, but I, I love how they use the music as, as an emotional impact for the actors. 